Back over the big obstacles then now for the Mike Bike Chase. Uh, so the three miles, the top one is Soulard Banana for Hems Mal Vadila for Alex Cherry. Blue Anchor Cottages for Darren Thompson. Co-Killer Kitty Cat for David Robertson. Bright Spells for Martin Lidham. Catherine of Aragon for Paul Rhodes. And Gay Ruffian for Graham Clutterbuck, who's returned to his Welsh roots. Hooray, here we go. <laughs> Off we go then. And Co-Killer Kitty Cat, the grey is the first one to show as they get towards the first. Uh, if you've been watching these races in order, you will have noticed that the first chase we had a lot of fallers. A field of eight, I think, and only four finished. And let's see what we get this time. We're on Jockey Cam at the moment on Catherine of Aragon. In the lead. I think she was lucky. She was, wasn't the one who got her head chopped off, was she? She just got divorced, I think. As they come to the third and over the first ditch. Killer Kitty Cat. We get a close up shot of them. And down towards the next end. This is the fourth of the 21, and they're all safely over that one as well. With Co Killer Kitty Cat, the grey in front. And Gay Ruffian second. Bright Spells is third. And then Blue Anchor Cottages is fourth. Uh, firstly, three in a line. Then Soulard Banana, Catherine of Allegan, and Malva Dila. Come down towards the next of the fences then. Close up shot. This makes it quite dramatic over this close up. We can do it when we've got a small field of about seven, like we've got now, and over that one they go. And then all over it safely. With co Killer Kitty Cat, the leader. Ooh, stood off that one and got away with it. I wanted to didn't jump it all that brilliantly. Soulevard Banana didn't jump it all that well. Although they take this next ditch, and again, a couple of them stood off it, but they all got away with it. And co Killer Kitty Cat continues to lead from Gay Ruffian. As they take the next, then Bright Spells, Mistake again by Sular Banana. And Blue Anchor Cottages is the back marker. As they make their way towards the home stretch, or straight, depending on which side of the Atlantic you live in. And they all caught the straight, then a full circuit to go. They've got two miles still to travel. And Kakilla Kitty Cat is the leader. And Gay Ruffian on the outside, second. Close up in third is Bright Spells in the purple jacket. Close up behind that one, Catherine of Aragon. We jumped that one well and jumped into third. Soulard Banana also jumped that one much better than jumped a few of the previous ones. Malvadila on that one's outside and Blue Anchor Cottage is just the back marker, but there's still a long way to go. This will be the last on the next circuit. And they're all safely over that one as well. And race up now past the winning post, the assembled throng of the crowd. A few tinted bits, whether they're bars or hospitality things, I don't know, but everybody looks pretty cheerful. Past the totalisator board, past the winning post, past the big screen, right hand down, chaps. One more circuit of us get to go, please. And Kakilla Kitty Cat is the leader. Bright Spells has now moved into a close second. Bit of a gap back to Catherine of Aragon in third, Gay Ruffian is fourth. Malva Dealer on the outside also get a little bit closer. The one's dropped back a bit is Gay Ruffian. Maybe the jockey's just giving that one a little bit of a breather. And Blue Anchor Cottages seems to be quite happy just keeping them all in sight. Pulls to the outside. Maybe the jockey's a little bit concerned that one or two of them might be tiring. And Bright Spells has gone on now then. So Bright Spells is... Oh, a pull-up! Well, there you go. The pull-up kit is live and kicking and well in SO7. I'm sure Davey Robertson is probably thinking... What a disaster, because it looked like that horse was going perfectly okay in second place, and suddenly it's been a victim of the pull-up kit. So the first victim of the SO7 pull-up kit is Co-Killer Copycat, as they skip over that one, and that's something that David Robertson put on his CV, his SO CV. He was the first victim of the pull-up kit in the SO7 race kit. And Bright Spells is the leader. Soulard Bananas finally given up the ghost, and... Got rid of the jockey. Bright spells is clear by about five lengths. Team Gay Ruffian in second. And Blue Anchor Cottage is third. Malva Dealer is fourth. And Catherine of Aragon is fifth. Two have departed the race. And we've only got six and a half furlongs still to go. And Bright spells is well clear. And Gay Ruffian in second as they skip over the 15th. Gap them back to Blue Anchor Cottage is now moving into third. Oh, 
the leader went right through that one, and that could be the end of that one. Bright spells. Not very bright spell there. It was a bit of a disaster. That jumped over their ditch a lot better. But Gay Ruffians in front. Bright spells is trying to battle back on the inside over the third last they go. And Gay Ruffians jumping better than Bright Spells, but Blue Anchor Cottages looks to be going best of all at the moment. Big gap to Catherine of Aragon. And then Malva Dealer as they swing towards home there now. And Bright Spells is going better on the flat, but not jumping well. Bright Spells is about half a length up on Gay Ruffian. Blue Anchor Cottages getting closer all the time. These three are well clear of the remainder. And it's Gay Ruffian and Bright Spells. Gay Ruffian on the outside. Bright Bright spells on the inside. Then Blue Anchor Cottage is trying to wear them down over that one. A slow jump by the leader, but it's still a length clear. Bright spells is second, and now suddenly Blue Anchor Cottage is treading water. It's Gay Ruffian in the lead from Bright Spells in second down towards the final fence. Then it's Gay Ruffian in the lead. Could this be another one for Clutterbuck? It's Gay Ruffian in the lead. Gay Ruffian jumps over it nicely. Bright spells is second. Blue Anchor Cottage is third, and then Catherine of Aragon racing up towards the line. He's back well she and he's back in the winners' enclosure. Graham Clutterbuck is going to take this one with Gay Ruffian, that's a good five length winner then, up towards the line it's Gay Ruffian that takes it Bright Spells is second, then Blue Anchor Cottage is third, Catherine of Aragon fourth Malva Dealer was fifth, they were the only ones to finish and pretty comfortable win, although the second horse made some big mistakes and maybe if he jumped a bit better, might have got a bit closer the one that flattered to deceive was the horse back in third and Gay Ruffian takes it for Graham Clutterbuck. Bright Spell second for Martin Lidden. Blue Anchor Cottages for Darren Thompson was third. Catherine of Aragon for Paul Rose fourth. And Malva Delia for Alex Cherry. What a fifth.